Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. I hope everybody's doing well. Today we're taking a look at the Russian military mountaineering backpack from Russian Cold Camo. This is an 80 plus 20 liter backpack. So essentially an 80 liter pack that's able to be expanded with the addition of two side pouches that are internal to the pack. They just zip open on the sides and you get an extra 20 liters. So essentially you're getting a 100 liter pack in the volume of an 80 liter pack. Now, as you can probably expect for a backpack designed for the mountains to be taken off into the hills for multiple days at a time, it's meant to carry a heavy load and it does so very well. It's got thick padded shoulder straps, an adjustable sternum strap, a wide hip belt, really nice lumbar padding. There's multiple points of adjustment so you can position the pack on your body just as you need it, depending on your size, on the size of the loads that you're carrying. So you're able to position the load more on your shoulders or a mix between your shoulders and your hips or predominantly on your hips. That's pretty much how I have it riding right now. I would say I've got about a 70-30 split between my lower body and my upper body. You've also got loops for your thumbs to help take the strain off as you're hiking. To get out of the pack, you've got a quick release. We have two grab handles, one at the front, one at the back. The frame consists of just these two aluminum slats that fit into the backpack. It's really simple, really clever. There's an additional piece up at the top to help keep the width, but it's really basic and it works very well. The way the pack is set up, it's basically one large tube. You have a separate flap on the bottom that you're able to zip in and use for, you know, any quick access items that you want to store in the bottom, like your food, your cooking kits, or you can put your sleeping gear. So for me today, I've got my sleeping bag and some extra clothes in a dry sack. On the inside, I've got my shelter, which is my Russian tent hammock, as well as an AquaQuest tarp my sleeping mat, tools, my repair kit. I'm trying something new out with my rainwear today. I've got a Sarma TST thermal tarp, similar to a Jervin Felducan, except this one isn't insulated. So it's just got the, the Mylar lining and then a camouflage waterproof exterior. There are pockets at the bottom of the bag so you can fit in longer items that you don't want to put in the pack. Like I've got my Skrama today, big knife. You can see this pleat on the fabric here. This is to let the side pockets expand. You access them through these nice heavy zippers on the side and you've got an extra 10 liters of storage there. So if you don't need it, you don't need it. And then you can just compress it down with the buckles. The top of the pack has nylon webbing. It looks like it's designed for clipping in carabiners, climbing gear, you know, attaching ropes. There's a ton of storage in the top of the lid, accessed with a zipper. And in this pocket, I keep things that I want to get to easily on the go. So I've got my ridge line, my tent stakes for building shelters, my headlamp, folding saw, work gloves, and my navigation pouch with my compass, pacing beads, and a write in the rain notebook. There's also a zipper compartment in the bottom of the lid for extra storage. I've got my first aid kit and my hygiene. The pack cinches up with a sliding buckle at the top. And then there's also an extendable sleeve to make sure your gear is closed off or to extend the volume of the pack. So you could really pack a lot of stuff in this. Additionally, you can also fit gear on the outside of the pack. Right in between the straps, there's a rubber bungee that you're able to cinch gear down. As an example, here's a plush palaka, but I've secured my tent hammock, my mountain tent. You could put a sleeping pad there, or you could cinch a sleeping pad on the bottom of the pack with the included webbing straps. And to close out, here's a couple photos of the Norwegian mountain forces using a similar pack with their full combat loadout, their mountain equipment, their tents, their sustainment stuff, all their gear for weeks at a time. 
really interesting. Apparently, these guys were dropped off in the Arctic Circle and survived for 45 days with the gear they were carrying on their backs. So, really impressive when you think about it. They got their snowshoes, that's their tent secured on the back where the bungee cords are on the Russian tent. And I imagine the Russians are using their packs in much a similar fashion. So if you're looking for a big backpack to carry all your gear for the woods or any long-term scenarios you could imagine, this would be a really excellent option. I'll have a link for you down below. You can check it out for yourself at Russian Cold Camo. I believe they're on sale right now, so check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you're all good. We'll catch you soon. Cheers.